Alright, how's it going, guys? Last time we left off at a cliffhanger, and we are gonna see what happened this time. Awesome. Now distract those things carefully. Alright, let's pick up the brick, see what we can do with it. I can't reach uh, Alright, let's grab the brick now. And once again, I apologize for my cold, uh... A few seconds of searching it, we'll know if he has the keys. I can't believe they don't see us over here. Alright, zombies aren't very smart. They don't know who threw it. Look at these old TVs. Vandalism. <coughs> Now what do I do? Uh The streets are too full of those things to get out there and search for those keys safely. Totally. Maybe they could be lured around. Come on, I threw the brick at it. You go run out there and lead them away. <laughs> you don't seem like the high school track type. I am fleet of foot. The distraction's not bad though. Uh what can I use for a distraction? That place is full of TVs and electronics. Dang, I honestly thought that that would be a very good distraction. I can't look at him like that. God, poor kid. A few seconds of searching it, we'll know if he has the keys. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Alright, we're making progress, but slowly still. Because I don't know what else we can use for a distraction. Uh... How'd you end up here? Well, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Ah, uh, gosh dang, um... Yeah, I don't see any more distractions out here. Back um... They're just gonna leave the gate open? Well, yeah, the gate doesn't really seem to have much of a purpose, then. Come on, I need something to throw. Or something loud. Uh, let's talk to this fool over here. Oh, come on, Lee. You can do it, buddy. That radio sign off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. <coughs> Right then, we don't need to talk about it. Thanks. <coughs> There's nothing I can do now anyway. Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. Um... Alright, what's this? Come on, there's something back there. I know it. Oh no, maybe that's just her freaking shoulder. Uh, 
There's no getting in there from out here. That grate does its job. Dang, we need a distraction, but what can I use? What is this? How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Not now. All right. Dang. All right, let's talk to Clementina. Everything okay? Mm-hmm. All right, she doesn't want to talk. Let's see what Glenn has to say. You all right, Lee? I'm okay. Thanks. All right, I seriously need a distraction. But what can I use? How's he doing? I'm gonna get back to him now. Gosh, why am I helping them? up here dad told me he bought that TV to watch baseball in here but I caught him watching his stories more than a few times his stories oh my that's what I figured first aid kit luckily there's nothing I need in here um That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Maybe if we use the remote we can somehow program it to turn on the TVs across the street and blast up the volume. It's a thought. It might work. I highly doubt it, but it's a possibility. Not a good one, but let's see. How we doing? Good. Wanna go this guy have a is look such a nerd. Outside? Wanna go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Yes. Come on, does it not work? Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the yep, street. Yep, I told you so. Just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Yes, I guessed it perfectly, and I have not seen any walkthroughs of this game. I feel like such a smart sucker. Now's the time. So sad. Hey, bud. I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah, I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. Sorry, man. I'm 
sire wasn't here. But knowing you were to take care of him for a hobbit, that helped. No, don't fish him off. Got to do it. This dude is tough. Still going. Hey, bud. God. There we go. Holy crap! Run! Oh, look at that dude's teeth. Those are nasty. Alright, that took a lot of doing, and I we're not even saving anybody worth saving. We're saving these pieces of crap in here that are just rude, rude, rude. Man, that was close. But we did it. That's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Hey, get out of here. Nobody loves you. What if they don't work? I would laugh. Gotta hurry. Oh, that alarm is gonna screw us over. <coughs> Who's this? Did we stab her? I guess we did because my screwdriver. No, we stabbed that fat guy. That's who we got our screwdriver stuck in, isn't it? Oh, yeah, we're screwed. Doc, come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case no, I don't take my axe. on the way to my truck. Here you go. All right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. Should we help these fools? Hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Gee, thanks, Doug! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know... <laughs> What the? Are you sure? Shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, then. Come in time. Can you look for something to stick in between the hands? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Come in time. Can you find anything? Nothing. Wait. The window is screwed. Go. Come on, Clementine girl. You've got to do this for me. He's 
That's Kane. I can't do anything here. Who do I save? Uh, I'm saving Doug. Oh my, this is not Carly, this is Clementine. Oh, she's not going to remember I saved her now, though. What? I just saved your life, bro. Thank you. You're my best friend now. Especially a good friend. Gosh, that old dude's a freaking moron. That guy. He's gonna pay. Oh, there's that nasty hair. Dang, I feel bad that I saved that dork dude instead of the girl. Hey, Glenn. But I don't know. I think I need to go. To Atlanta. Yeah, I got friends there, and I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago. Could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. <coughs> I think you're making the right call. Maybe. But I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, <coughs> if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. <coughs> with the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. No, I kind of like Glenn. I like Glenn, I like Carly, I of course like Clementine, and... I hate that old dude though. And I don't really love his daughter either, but she's way better than him. Look at the bumper sticker on that truck. That's pretty good. Uh, I believe it was over here. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man. Do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. 
I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. All right, uh... Now, where's that freaking old man? Who's this? I do not remember this dude. Oh, this is that? Doug. Doug? We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. But I really liked her. She liked you, too. Thankfully. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. I thought you needed help. No. I guess that makes sense. But it wasn't a choice like that. It, it was just something I did. I don't know why. I just wish you would have picked her. All right, let's go talk to a dumb duck or whatever his name is. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed And again. I saved your butt. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, no. come here for a second. Mm. Let me go deal with this. Oh, man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Not really. Good. Stay away from her. Or everyone here knows that Lee Everett is a killer. And I'm not talking about those things out there. You hear me? I ask you a question, boy. Then again, I wouldn't expect a convicted murderer to listen to anything anybody's got to say. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. This dude. That big nose, I just want to cut it off. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch, could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Oh, there goes the lights. Alright, that's the end of episode one. It was pretty short, actually. Freaking took me two, three hours, maybe. Well, you guys know how long it took me. I recorded you. Recorded the whole thing. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Keep it. 
Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's <laughs> coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. <laughs> the walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. <laughs> Yes, that looks awesome and amazing. I will bring that to you hopefully soon. I'm sorry. I beat this game or this episode in one day, but it's going to take me a while to. Uh. Alright, 46% of people uh, lied. Duck or Sean? Why would you save Duck? Um, dang, yeah, so about half and half did each, um, but yeah, this game was, or, sorry, I'm thinking it's a full game, but it was short, it really was, um, I'm loving it, I am so excited to play more, um, I'm probably gonna purchase the next couple episodes here in a week or so, and then I'll be playing them slowly, but surely, I'm hoping by Season 2, Episode 3 or 4, I'll be caught up and I'll be able to play them right when they come out. Um, because I'm not just going to skip from this one right to um, Season 2. And so yeah, I'm excited to see what happens next. I have not watched any of these walkthroughs. Um, I actually do know what happened at the beginning of the Season 2 because I did watch that when it came out about two months ago. Um, but I'm not going to spoil it in case you haven't seen it, but I'm sure you have seen or played it. This game is pretty popular. And yeah, I'm excited to continue once again. Uh, I'll just let you see the credits. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a great episode. Hoping the next one is better. I've had a couple friends tell me that the next episode is one of their favorites so far. And yeah, I'm excited. So let's see what I'm looking. It's looking like people are gonna starve next time. So sad. Yeah, but I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to leave a like and a favor and comment. If you like the game, if you don't, if you want to see more, I'm bringing you more no matter what. Because I hope that you guys will enjoy it. I'm so excited. I can't put into war words how excited I am. Dead Island will start in the next couple days, I'm hoping, but I've also got to get some PS4 content out to you. Uh, yeah, so thanks so much for watching. Uh, once again, episode 2 will come soon. Let's just see if there is a final cutscene or anything. Subscribe. I have new videos every single day. A whole bunch of videos. I'm going to go purchase episode 2 now and I'll start that hopefully in sooner than a month but I can't promise anything because I'm playing like 45 different games right now so thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you all very very soon